Welcome to In the Green Room. I'm Kinga, and it's Happy Veterans Day. And I'm Chet. Happy Veterans Day. We appreciate everybody out there who served and helped keep this a free country. Thank you to our veterans. And happy Veterans Day. I'm Joyce. Joyce. And I'm Gwen, and Happy Veterans Day to all of those who served and gave us our freedom. We thank you for that. And I'm Tim, and I'll tell you what, you guys are rock stars. We are so thankful for you guys, what you've done. You are just amazing. I can't thank you enough. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we are <laughs> celebrating in a big way. and uh, We were just talking about how we all agree that veterans should be more celebrated and glorified than politicians. But so many people, you see glorifying politicians all the time. So I think Veterans Day should be a reminder that the veterans are the ones who actually get, gave us our freedoms. Absolutely. And, and still absolutely. do. And, still do. Yeah. and that's what yes. makes America great. That's and right. we are very proud of this country. Oh, man. And let's make I'm America great why. again. I'm excited about uh, that we did have our election and uh, whether somebody feels they're you know, a Democrat or a Republican, uh, whichever way they lean, it doesn't matter because a decision's been made and obviously the country decided in a fair way and we got to celebrate our next president of the United States. Well, the flag unites us, no mm -hmm. doubt. The flag. Explain that to us. The flag, well, it's just the American flag. I mean, um, the red, white, and blue is just, it, when we put that up, everybody recognizes that and what America stands for. We've been a leader um, through the military, through countries, through, uh, they respect us and everybody looks to see what America does first. I feel like people need to call out the media for making it seem both sides. The media makes it seem like if the other side wins, it's going to be the end of the world. And it's adding more division. Mm -hmm. We Both sides of the media need to be True. less inflammatory about that and making it seem like, oh, it's going to be the end of the world if the other side wins. No, we just had eight years that were four Democrat, four Republican, and the country's not on fire. Like... And now we're, the country voted back to going red and switch things up. And both sides should be able to celebrate that. It's not, it shouldn't be so divisive. Um, that's the main takeaway I saw from all the news from both sides basically was saying, oh, if the other side wins, the world's going to be on fire. It's something great. The media likes drama. Media yeah, likes exactly. Drama. They, 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 and it's so no, annoying. There's, there's no drama, there's no news. So but I see, they, they, they make their own. Yeah, I see True. so many of my friends who are super, super liberal that are crushed about the results that are posting so much stuff about, like, being anxious and... Mm -hmm. You can like, unfollow them. It's okay. Well, <laughs> well no, I'm not the type, I, I, I'm not I the type who would <laughs> want to stop being friends because somebody has a different viewpoint. I more just feel bad for them that they've basically been like, duped by the media into thinking that the country's going to go to shit just because the other side won. Like, can't they remember Trump's last term? The country did pretty well. Like, so right. that's why all these people who are losing their minds about the results of the election, they just need to go forward not being tricked by the media into thinking it's going to be so bad if the other side loses. Cause... You know what I find really exciting? I, I feel like uh, our new future president, Trump, is going to be very... Uh, positive. I, mm -hmm. I, I already see that. He uh, wants to have a nice meeting at the White House with Biden. He's, I feel like he's saying very positive things about both sides, and I like that. Which, which is great. So let's talk about veterans. Thank you. Today's Veterans Thank Day. You. So yes. I'm going to talk about veterans first. Perfect. Um, I come from a family right. of lots of veterans. Good grief. Uh, my father, who would be 100 and whatever uh, this year, uh, he served in World War II over in the European theater. He was wow. in Italy and North Africa. And he always told me, if you think the Arizona desert is cold, kid, you ain't hit North Africa yet. <laughs> so we have so brother I was called my father-in-law. My husband's father was also in World, World War II. And he was in the Pacific theater and he was um, he was a uh, battleship. And my cousin, uh, God rest his soul, was an MIA in Vietnam and he never came home. Uh, and his son now has, uh, his son who he never saw, um, also has, um, also has children now. So my cousin would be, I guess my cousin would be 80, 85 years old at this point, uh, if he had ever come home, which he never did. Um, and he was an only son and he did not have to go. Interesting. He did not have to go to Vietnam. He had, he was an only child, only mm. son, and there was an exemption. 
uh, during the Vietnam War, and he could have not gone at all, or he couldn't have gotten a desk job, but true hero as he was, he chose to go to Vietnam because he thought it was his duty as a as, a, as an American citizen, mm -hmm. and he flew recon, um, which at that point recon fighters have, uh, planes had no fighters along with them, so they would set up a plane with a bunch of cameras with nobody protecting them, and of course they went up and then they went down, and nobody ever found them. I've got a cousin who was um, in Afghanistan, two tours of Afghanistan, IED blew him up, and uh, he survived, and so he's okay. Um, so lots of lots of veterans in my family. So proud of all of them. My Yay, husband, we have to celebrate and, and my husband was in the army as well. He never actually uh, made it to Vietnam, but he was he was um, ROTC, ROTC, and then he was in the reserves for a while. So. So he was he's awesome. a vet too. He's a vet too. Right. That's, that's awesome. incredible. So, Thank you so much. A lot of them. Yeah. And my dad, I had a dad that um, he was in the Korean War. Um, mm. He'd bought, he'd be like uh, 97, 98, but uh, he was a forward observer. And if anybody doesn't know what a forward observer is, is that you go past the front line and you find the enemy. And it's like, I'd say that, oh, Dad, you are word. a rock star. Yeah. He goes, I am not a... And, but he was. Wait, what do you mean? He would have to like. You would have to go past to find the enemy. Oh, you go into wow. bad guy land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. But I really feel like right Two now heroes. too. A lot, a lot of the veterans, probably in the past, feel like um, we didn't make a difference. You know, just the way our country was. I mean, the way we've kind of felt. We have this division, but I just got to tell you guys. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. What you did, you guys are just. You just, I can't say it enough, you're a rock star. What you've done and how you've uh, represented the flag. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love it, I love it. And so let's, we're here today uh, excited to hear your story because the two of you are very patriotic and you repurpose and uh, you find, uh, so you're sustainable because you go to different Goodwills and different secondhand stores and garage sales and they uh, buy things that, you know, that they can repurpose. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Also, I wanna hear about how you guys met. You guys have been married, what, 43 years? We're celebrating mm -hmm. that uh, sustainable love. So can we hear your story? Yeah, so I, well, it started off with jewelry and I've been doing jewelry, making jewelry for 12 years and have just expanded and I've always wanted to be a designer. So I worked in a pediatric dental office for 30 years. <laughs> so now I'm finally Same getting to do what I love. So Tim and I were both retired and we love to, so Tim does sells it, has an eBay business too. So we're always going out and hunting and looking and I look at things differently. Like I'll look at a pair of shoes and say, well, that'd be a cute necklace or a cute bracelet. So <laughs> I use, you know, things that are broken and turn them into something. Beautiful. Fun. And, it, and it's our passion. So it started Tim working at UPS too. He would come home with all these, finding these, different things like coke machines or he'd be in the back rooms of places and that's kind of what started our we love to do junk in the trunk and vintage that's how uh, that's how we met uh martin who's a regular on the show played his band is called uh junk in the trunk and so he was playing and he sent us there to see his uh band play and then i met you guys which was really cool yeah you know i tell you what i really want to encourage everybody out there younger um people uh, just to make a few extra dollars. I mean, I just like Gwen said, I, um, I'm a, we're from North Dakota. I'm a retired UPS driver and I'd be in the alleys. I'd be in by the garbages and I'd find all this stuff. And then after work, I'd go get it. And, and I'd bring it home and my wife goes, what, what are you going to do with that stuff? So I'd flip it, I'd change it, I'd cut, paint it, fix it up and I'd sell it and make a few extra dollars. So then, um, creative was, and sustainable. She, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was going to have a garage sale once, and I had a lot of Ralph Lauren, and I had this uh, uh, sweatshirt. It's a P wing sweatshirt by Ralph Lauren, and um, she was having a garage sale, and, and she had like ten dollars on it, and um, I, I, she didn't sell it thankfully, and I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to look and just see what that sweatshirt is going for, and my sweatshirt was going for twelve hundred bucks. On really? EBay. And on eBay. So and, and I, nobody bought it. Yeah. I had not sold it. Thing. Yeah. So I threw wow. mine on there and I got 600 and then I got all my other stuff out and wow. I made 300, made four. So I encourage everybody. There are things out there that you have or, or areas that 
you are much better at, and everybody's going to go into like a Goodwill or the garage sale and look at things differently. And, and so don't think that's bad. It's a good thing because there's always a market for that. Mm -hmm. So I just, it just so happened that Gwen and I now are doing um, refurbishing. She's doing refurbishing jewelry and um, it's just been so much fun. And, and we've made a, a, a small business out of it. And it's fun that you do it together. Exactly. Because exactly. I, I, I'm sure we like when you're it. out you're, hunting. Your eyes different than exactly. your Exactly. Yeah, so you and our hunt. original theme of the show is sustainability, and this goes right <laughs> along with that. Yeah, it's perfect. So, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Saving the planet, yeah. Yeah. one yeah. show at a time. time. Right. <laughs> so we'll go into a Goodwill. He'll go this way, and I'll go that way, and then we'll meet in the middle. And really? And we kind of decide. Right. But we can look at the same thing. Yeah. He'll have picked something to show me. I said, I already looked at that. So we have the same eye. But it's fun because we share it, and it's just... Have so you, do you each show up with a basket full yep, of stuff? Yep, and then we go through it. Okay, should we get this or not? And we Have you ever tried White Dove consignment? White mm -hmm. Dove consignment's great. It actually benefits Hospice of the Valley, awesome. and it's wonderful. They have mm -hmm. several, I can't remember, three or four. It's non-profit. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So it, it really is. is. Nice. It's priced higher than Goodwill, generally, awesome. but it's got, it's got great yeah. things. Good cost, yeah. well, well, yeah, you know, there's so many avenues. You know, the marketplace, um, uh, just... With garage sales, um, you, you just never know what you're going to find. You know, treasures it's just so all fun. Over. Treasures all over the place. So we it's want to so hear fun. your story of how you met, how you started dating, because you've been married a long time, and how this love has sustained for 43 years. Because so, you guys look, they, they, good, they're good, happy. Good, good vocab they're happy. word. Okay, you threw the sustain in again. Yeah, it was good. They're happy. Okay. Right? We, um, so my brother. You could have uh, done that. I could have done that, but we didn't. My brother and Tim are roommates in college, so that's how we got together is through. You know, we dated three years, and we got married. We got married very young. Well, hold on. I know you broke up with him like three times. <laughs> I did. And, and it, it and was then like, I came and, to my senses. and he disappeared <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, he did. He disappeared, and I wrote him a letter, and I realized how much I cared for him. And thank goodness he came back, and we got engaged, got married. Well, I just want to break in on that and just say that you know, there's something that was so attractive about my wife, and first of all, that my wife was a believer, and. There's just a spirit that is that a believer of Jesus Christ that she just carried. And I just, I was so attracted to that. So attracted to that. And um, that was uh, something that was uh, really drew me in. And, and I didn't want to let go of that. So at that point, you know, even um, even though there was a lot of alcohol and stuff like that, I had to make a decision. But a lot of alcohol, so we have to explain yeah. that. Yep. Your family didn't have yeah, any no drinking, no yep. alcohol. Yeah. Uh, mine, none at all, and yeah, yours were yeah, partiers. Yeah, mine did. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. they did, and, and not to say that um, socially. I mean, people think that, but mm -hmm. it kind of got, kind of got out of hand sometimes. But so I had to make a decision whether or not um, what road I wanted to go down, and I, I think I chose wisely. <laughs> well, I think that it's important to mention that your your brother, your brother, didn't even want you guys to really right, he didn't meet. Want to introduce us right away. Because he knew that he was, he was a party. Yeah. yeah. Because they were roommates. And so, he knew that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting. And, and I think a long time ago, people really cared. At least when right. I was, you know, at least yeah, 20, 30 years ago. People really cared. If you didn't drink, I had, I don't drink. I didn't have, I don't drink at all. Um, I would rather eat than drink. Yeah. So give me a piece of chocolate cake and I'm all over it. I don't share that, but I could care less about anything with alcohol. But a long time ago, people used to care about, you know, so if, you, you know, if I met you and you didn't drink, a lot of people would be pressuring you to drink. Mm -hmm. right. You know, why aren't right. you drinking? It would be right. it would be a topic of conversation. Really? Oh, yep. it was oh, yes. huge. I had yeah. people really? trying yeah. to force yeah. liquor down me, and I was yeah. I mean, I was thirty years old. Peer pressure. Like, I don't yep. want. Yeah, I don't want, to, I don't want to. I don't want to drink. Yep. And I yep. would rather eat. Yep. I will have. So you were drinks. dirty, and people were pressuring. You? Yes, and yep. it's you know, as I was really? growing up, I made my decision a long time ago. My mother was an alcoholic, and I just decided I wasn't going to drink. Okay, big deal. Now people don't care. I had a party last mm -hmm. night there were seven of us one of them had about th maybe an inch of wine nobody else drank yep. nobody cares we have mm -hmm. it we have it in the house and right. nobody cares so right. you, do you care if anybody yeah. drinks no, if you're, no. no you don't care yeah. my, my son doesn't care he drinks his wife drinks I don't. I well, don't I, I was in. Uh, well, I care he, if somebody drinks too much because then it's clear that they're on a destructive. No, path. no, but you don't yeah. care if you don't no. care if somebody's with you and they say, "I don't drink." Chai. I don't, oh yeah, you're, I don't care fine. if they're not drinking or if they're having a healthy consumption. Right. I will speak up if I think they're like, 
on a path that's going down. No, no, the wrong I understand way. that, and that's the right thing to yeah. do. But you don't care if somebody said, "Hey, I'm going to have to dinner with you," and you, you want to oh, drink. Oh, I don't no, care at all. No, of course no. you don't. That's but, so but weird to care. It is. I thought it was the strangest thing. So I, I've never yeah. heard of that. I've never I seen did. that. Oh, See, absolutely. Yeah. When you didn't drink a long time ago, but you know, back care. then, too, yeah, like, but, you know, in a small town yeah. or even it was, a, it was a you deal. know, yeah. you, you know, um, regarding drinking and far as DWIs and those effect, you know, maybe they were a little more lenient about maybe. that. But now yeah. there's no tolerance for that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that can be very costly and it can be uh, dangerous. Yeah. As a matter of fact, funny story, my daughter who can get in Chetno, um, my Catherine. daughter doesn't drink Catherine. She's great. Um, she's a stitch. Um, and she made your jacket. Yeah, and she made yeah. my jacket. She yes. made her Love jacket. It. So, um, and she doesn't drink. And I was the only mother that I knew when the kid turned 18, I was trying to not force her to drink, but I was encouraging her to drink because I wanted to know, this is what a rolling rock tastes like. This is what Coors Light tastes like. This is wine. This is champagne. She goes, Mom, you can't just buy all these beers and have me drink one every night. That's really <laughs> weird. <laughs> but I wanted her to know. She goes, I don't like it. It's like, okay, fine. But at least you have tasted yeah. it in order to like it. So. Well, and I feel like a lot of the reason why that pressure has ev evaporated is because the science is in now that shows it's not just bad for your liver and your kidneys. It's bad for your brain. Your circulatory yeah. circulatory system, your skin, your entire digestive tract. It's literally drinking every day is poisoning you. And yeah. if you have done it every day for years, you would have to stop drinking for years. Yeah, you're pickled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're literally so, frying your yeah. insides, frying your brain. Um, and if it's for years, it's potentially past the point of no return. So, so they keep um, going. So they keep yeah. going. There so a go. lot of people yeah. that are younger that have like, you know, seen the science only drink occasionally rarely or don't drink at all because yeah. it's literally poison that's right my, my, my daughter will go out she'll order a glass of rosé or wine or something and then it'll sit there after two sips like you know what if somebody's going to spend 15 dollars whatever like, glass yeah. of rosé is easy just don't order it it's just it's a waste he said well i kind of want to be cool but i don't want to be cool and drink it i was like well do whatever you want to do but you know by not drinking that really put me on a path uh, as far as your friends and and just your just your whole atmosphere of what you're doing in your life and um, so that that kind of set a tempo for our marriage and, and I encourage everybody that um, doesn't drink if you think oh I'm not going to be a part of it I disagree with that it was a great decision for me and so hold on did she part of the three times you broke up with him was one of the times was the decision because, because of the he, drinking because he drank and I oh, okay and it was just he yeah, drank or he drank too much? Drank, oh, drank at even, all. Just, just like yeah. I didn't want okay. that path. Okay, I fine. knew what I wanted. And the same yeah. thing, I growing up in high yeah. school too, I would go to parties. I didn't drink, but I would go and hang out with my friends, and they would try and catch me and try and pour it yeah. down me. Yeah. And what? I remember, yes, yeah. it was ridiculous. But this one kid who was my friend, and I respect him to this day. I mean, he was, you know, kind of on marijuana and all that. He stood up for me. He's the one that came and said, if she doesn't want to drink, leave her alone. And I respected him for that because he drank and he did, but he respected me for my values. For your decision. But I never wavered. I mean, that's just like, okay, I can still come. And so basically I'm you weren't going to stay with Tim. Gwen wasn't going to stay with Tim if he was going to continue to drink. Yeah, because so my faith is important to me and I had my moral character, what I had. And, mm -hmm. and if you're going to have a marriage, it's got to be the same where you're on the same page. And we like to, we've always tried to encourage our son to, you know, this one boy, and we've always just encouraged him, and I've always told him, I said, there's, there's not, there isn't anything I've seen that is good about drinking, so, so anyway, that, I mean, that really worked out well for, for us, and, and uh, being 43 years of marriage, and, um, but, yeah, it's kind of So what's the secret to 43 home. years, outside of... <laughs> He had to follow your path of not drinking. <laughs> well, we're just, best friends. Yeah, we, we do. We have fun together. We like yeah, the we same do. stuff. We're blessed. We do. Well, I mean, to play devil's advocate, it can elevate start some events the right way. Like, that's why Jesus turned the water into wine yeah. at that wedding. So as long as it's done in moderation and, like, for the right event to celebrate something and it's about celebrating the people, not the alcohol, mm -hmm. then it can still be a positive experience. But it's all about moderation and all about it just heightening something else, whether that's a celebration with family or a meal or a concert, then it can be positive. But generally, if it's done 
ever in excess or too much, then it's so evil so quickly. But think about it. Yeah. Nothing in excess is good. So my chocolate cake yeah. versus my glass yeah. of wine. Very true. If I ate one piece of chocolate cake, I'm good. But if I ate a whole five pound <laughs> Costco yeah. chocolate that cake, good. excess probably is not good. Yeah. I probably wouldn't. You're right. But no, excess isn't good anywhere along the line. But you're yeah. right. So the two of you have your hobbies together and you have fun together. And uh, so in 43 years, have you guys, I know you broke up with them three times while you're dating. Did you ever have a big fight where you, uh, no, not where I mean, not like, the where we ever, you went to bed uh, upset with each other. Oh, you there's, always... I mean, you're, you definitely still have fights, but it's like, how do you get uh, through a fight? When she knows that I'm the head of the house. Have a piece you of chocolate cake. Yeah. Sure. 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 I don't like conflict, so I mean, I will go and apologize. I don't like, to, I really don't. So if, even if it wasn't okay. my fault, I'm the one, I don't like, I just, but, uh, that, and so. also our friend gave us a t-shirt you gave me a t-shirt says i'm the boss <laughs> and then she's the real her boss. one says she is the real boss <laughs> no, and so i okay. steal that from her every once in a while and we'll wear that you know that's saying that i'm the friend but yeah, but no i mean it, it it really works out well when you when you just uh you talk about things and and uh, hopefully you can come to a but you never let it let it uh is one of you the boss so he tim is more lo low-key and I'm more stressed. I'm more of the driver. So he is very good for me because, and I'm very good for him. I have to push him along and he has to calm me down. So oh, it's a like good it. mix there. That is a great mix. But and you guys have uh, one son? We have one son, he, Taylor. He's, and he's a miracle. He's our he's, miracle boy. Mm -hmm. I had infertility problems. So we tried eight years. You always think, oh, okay, we're ready to have kids. No. So you came to that point. We waited eight years. So I was like 33 back then. I'm 33 Sorry. back when I got pregnant. But I always thought I was going to just when I wanted to. But it took us eight years. So he was born. I had a terrible pregnancy. I had um, bleeding. I thought I was miscarrying. I was premature labor. I was in the hospital. And then he was three weeks early. So when he was born, he had a TE fistula, which is tracheoesophageal fistula. So he had a defect where his tracheus and esophagus weren't connected. So if he would have ate, it would have went aspirated to his lungs. Ooh. So we were in a small town in North Dakota. They probably saw one of those every seven years. So we got flown to Minneapolis and we found just the right surgeon, but it can be a whole like syndrome. It can be your brain, your heart, all of this. So Taylor's anatomy is a little off. It's like his one chest just protruding because they thought he had, they couldn't really find his aortic valve is mixed around. Everything works, but it's just, so that really bothered him because one side's more pronounced than the other, but so he had surgery, came through that great. So they inserted a feeding tube in his nose to feed him. And the medical, the two nurses one day came and said, we need to fold that feeding tube up. And I wasn't in the, Tim was up there. I wasn't there, I had stepped out. And he's like, no, you can't. That's how they're gonna feed him. And they said, no. So she went and got another nurse. Yeah, we need to pull it out. So they pulled it out. Well, because of that, he had a blood clot in his kidney and almost died. The doctor oh. came and said, oh, we screwed up. I don't know what how we're gonna how do. How old was he? He was, that what? point. Two weeks, oh, two a weeks week old, okay. yeah, little. Yeah, two weeks so old. So then he had to have another catheter in his body, which they were worried about a blood clot. Well, the next morning we come down. Mm. He's fighting for his life. He had a blood clot in his kidney, one percent. And, and that was because that, they pulled that out. Because they pulled it, because then they had to put another catheter in. Mm. So they they had to put a tube down. So he's fighting for his life, and we'd been there. Tim was laid off of work. He injured his back, so we were there the whole time. And there's all these little babies around us, premature dying, and we're able to be with our son, and none of the parents are there. Mm. So the nurses and the social worker came to us and said, you guys just need to get out of the hospital and take a break. Well, the day before we had seen on TV, it was like, if you had your bucket list, what would you like? And we had seen somebody having lunch, and Tim said, I would really love to meet Billy Graham. So the next day we go so for... So for those that don't know who he, who he is. He's a great evangelist. Yes. Okay. But well, Billy Graham was fabulous. Yes, yes. he was well known. Chet, did you know who he was? No. See? So okay. He was an evangelist that I know. probably started yeah, he's probably one of the, the greatest first greatest evangelists of all times. Ever, that I've ever drew breath, you know. Um, North Carolina. Just with Even his crusades and, and yeah. Yeah. how he, he has just spread the word yeah. everywhere. It's just only... ever. He's just amazing. A mere, a, amazing, amazing pastor. So, so you had said you wanted to meet him. Yeah, I had said that I'd really like to meet him. So um, we, when we were, the social workers came and talked to us because they, I believe, were concerned that we were going to sue him. And, and the, For the and mistake the, they made in the hospital. Yeah, okay. and then also, um, it's, just that the, it's just that we had not left the place at all. We were there concerned. Um, um, it's a very... Um, well, you probably our, didn't want to leave your baby is, alone yeah, after he, they just, already made a mistake yeah, once. He's our, our 
Yeah, I mean, it's, he's the tried best. tried for so long to yeah. have him, and then yeah. to have this happen. So they talked us into going for a walk. So we went for a walk around Lake Calhoun, and as we were walking around there, we look up, and there is Ellie Graham. Graham walking towards us. Yeah, he's <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and we're like, what? Wow. And, and the, so I asked his bodyguard if we could meet him, and he said, well, Bodyguard? Sure. What is he, yeah, a bodyguard? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, just, wow. So, yeah, he took his hat off, and we introduced ourselves, and just a total gentleman, and we explained the scenario, and just said our son is fighting for his life. And I said, would you mind um, writing him a short note? And he said, no problem, you know, to Taylor, get well soon, and Billy Graham. And, you know, that was uh, really... Uh, it was just a, it, it, it just gave you assurance. It just, it was just like, wow, I just said that. And look, and so anyway, we, we'd go back and to the hospital and then I called back home and I'd say, guess who I met today? <laughs> and they go, who, Kirby Puckett? I mean, who, no, Billy Graham. They're like, what? <laughs> you got, you know, so it was so fun. And, and it it's amazing how the Holy Spirit works and how God, just showed us that he was real, that he's there, he's with us. And and so that, he got that to me is a sign. Yeah. That's he, a sign. Yeah, he just got better. That's, he got that's better. That's a huge sign. Yeah. That's incredible. Can you know, I he's fast 31. forward now. Okay, can I fast forward and tell the other part of it? Yeah, yeah. So okay, when Billy Graham's was ninety two, his grandson splendid to write or ninety, I'm sorry, write a book about it. So they said, Have you been touched by Billy Graham? Write your story in. So I wrote my story in about what happened and forgot about it. A year later, I get this a, a, a letter sent in the mail. It's mm -hmm. a book, and I opened it up, and it's like it's hand addressed from Virginia, and I thought, who do we know in Virginia? Well, it's the Billy Graham book. So I just sat it on the table. Well, the next day, Tim opens it up, and our story is in the book. What? Oh, so, but that's there's only so like cool. 20 some stories in there. And you know the lives, I mean, Billy Graham touched, I mean, if you, tons of lives. So you our should, you story, should actually take is look it up. Look it it is, um, that we were in there was a, major, a miracle, and yeah. our son was embarrassed because he was a freshman <laughs> in high school, and it's like, oh, I. You know, they was on the lawn, like, because he was in the book, and they did an article in the paper about it. So he was right. on the front page. He, you know, he doesn't like the limelight, you know. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So, so he's in the book. It talks about him about and it's, the miracle of how he survived this accident or, or the mistake and in the hospital. Our local paper got wind of it, so they did a story on us. And they called a chance meeting with Billy Graham. And so Taylor was in there. And he didn't think until one of his friends said, <laughs> yeah, you're exactly famous, can I get your autograph? Kind of then it was yeah. cool. Yeah. And how old is he now? 32. Okay, 32. And does he live here? He or? lives here. Yeah, and he's a banker. He does banking. Yep, he, he works for Umqua Bank from his home. And, yeah. and they're moving, but they're going to be moving back to Oregon. He doesn't, they don't like the heat. So we're sad, but wish him the best. They'll be back. <laughs> They'll be back. Yeah. They'll sit, well, he's know. been back here three times in his career or his lifetime so he'll be back we're, we're from north dakota and he's, so it's a little bit uh you know uh but and she's from but and do you live here full time now no, no. we still go back to north dakota okay. in the summer in the summer for a month yeah oh like four months <laughs> really four months it's warm enough back in north well we stay with my mom months. lives there and we help okay. her she's got medical issues ah, so we okay. go back there and do this our show back home because well, that's where we Works started great. and then so we can take it wherever we go that's the great thing about yeah. it well explain that so uh, because people don't know how to find your stuff and how they, they don't find have you. a website yet i'm working on that my son has okay. been working it but um you can go on facebook follow me on the beach on 32nd instagram and i go to a lot of different shows and pop-up mm -hmm. events but um one other thing though you asked me about that it started with is i stamp bracelets and i love to do scriptural motivational things like good songs or whatever I was like oh that'd be a good bracelet so that was about 10 years ago when we first moved here we went to just small stories um a TJ Maxx ran into this gal and she said I love your bracelet and it said pray big so I just like took it off and I said here I want you to have it so she um told us her story and anyway I so fast forward to last year mm -hmm. I'd not seen her again Tim was in an old Navy store and he saw this gal who's working in there reach across and he saw this bracelet. He said, oh, I like your bracelet. And she goes, well, I can tell you, a lady gave this to me 10 years ago. He said, oh, that lady great. is my wife. That's great. Uh, <laughs> so she said, I have been wearing this every day because I don't know if I ever thanked her and I wanted to thank her. So we got in contact, reconnected. So it's just like, but I get a lot of that and I love to gift these. If some, you know, people are going through a hard time and I have people, that's the fun is the people you get to know 
and they'll come back and even friends because they're like this got me through my son's divorce or whatever you know and it's so that's the cool part I uh, but it's my that. ministry through my jewelry so you're spreading and, joy and, and love I do, and i just it's just fun he's blessed me and it. i can do it right and it's it's a great business so I, tell me about the jewelry so i i know i we looked at something where uh you both had taken a spoon and they yeah. flattened out a so spoon. an old spoon this is yeah it's like can you pass it around? So it's so Tim has to pound them because I can't do that. And then Joel Holm and I stamp individual letters on each one of them. And then they, they stamp. That, and then that's, I just a, so that's a spoon that's... Yep, an old yeah. vintage, yeah, cool yeah. spoon, sterling. And what does it say? Normal isn't coming back. Jesus is... I love that slogan right now. I love that. That's <laughs> right. great. But, that's so great. Jesus is. Okay, Rebel, sorry, Revelations 18? 10? 18. I love it. So, so you, so can, can, do you take orders? I do if, customize and cu take customize, orders. Customize, customize yeah. orders. Okay. So, uh, Chet, I never would have guessed it was a school. Very sustainable. Yeah. yeah. So Chet, Chet will want a deep Chetty music. Why are you Jack? talking about what you want? Why are you imposing oh, oh, yeah. what I want? Oh, I, oh, yeah, I want, you're right. I want it in the just, green just, room. Just, just yeah. do a list. Yeah. Just do a list of all the yeah. different ones you want. I, I want maybe a white jacket like this and in the green room. Okay. Maybe in green, yeah, that'd be cool. Cut. That's what's fun is even when I do my jewelry shows, mm -hmm. I customize on the spot because I want people they don't like a charm or a chain. So that's the fun of it is you know creating and making something that they love, they feel a part of it. And then I started. Um, so then I love to go and, and um, I go to heirlooms. Or it's kind of like the one you told me about where people will donate their old pearls and stuff because pearls are so popular right mm -hmm. now. And I like to go and revamp them. So I like to, people give me jewelry all the time. So mm, I like okay. take chains apart or whatever. And they, like people have brought me their grandmother's rings and all that. And just to take it apart, make it more up to date for a young gal, but yet have a part of their history on there. So that's fun. That's great. Do you hand knot your pearls? I don't. I like to just buy the vintage. I like to buy the, per, re, per, you know, the vintage it's, pearls. And we so use how them. do you put, let's see. So I just do, you know, I will take a charm and just okay add, add to it. Okay. And then this is very clever. Uh, these. These hats, the beanies, uh, the beanies, and she. Uh, I refurbished the. I love the designer stuff. So then I got into. So it's actually Louis Vuitton, but you know she makes it. So but what I would this cost? On there. Those are thirty-five. I'd like 35. to make a reasonable, but yet I'd rather. Chet, can you wear this? <laughs> you can wear it. <laughs> It'll look cuter on you. But then when I cut the blend, or the jackets and I take the bottoms because sometimes I'll cut them back. So there's a purpose for everything. So then I make a bracelet. That's clever. Cuff bracelet. That is very that clever. And they're yes. cuter on than they. And then same with the. Louis. Oh, I, I want to see that. That's cute. Those. That's very cute. I like that. So then is this, uh, so how do you put that? How do you so put I glue this it on. So you have to cut it? it and glue it on. And then That's cute. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. Bless you, bless you. Oh, that is cute. But it's fun. And then bless I've always got to come up with new stuff because I have repeat customers. So you've always got to be. New. Mm -hmm. So I love Pinterest too to get ideas or just to watch. Always good. On. And then a uh, question. Uh, can we see a couple of little uh the, the yes. kids the little oh, kids yes, jackets the kids, i love oh God, to do the kids so jackets so these are cute isn't that cute okay, that's, this that's is my chanel favorite. ribbon that's and then so cute. the front i always do you have to do something on the front and the back <laughs> that's so cute. it's so cute so what and will then, something like this sell for those are 50. okay that's so cute so ha what what did this cost to make to make oh depends on how good a deal i get on my jackets maybe 12 bucks that's incredible that's amazing but I try to keep the cost, yeah, down. But because it takes a lot of time. Where do you time. find a denim jacket that's so, this little? Oh, there's a, oh, I love to go to, well, I we go to Will and all. It, yeah, people well. are uh, garage sales. People have stuff that's hardly been worn. Some of the things I have are still have tags on them. That's and incredible. I always wash them so they're clean. And because my son is in the little jumper. Um, well, this was, yeah, just to. Now that is darling. Just to buy Look it. Because I've been getting more Louis into Vuitton. that. And I, I want one like that for myself. I, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to do I like one. That. I have an adult one. Yeah, I love that. Similar, but Let's do something similar So it's for just me. fun to, and then I do uh, the sports teams, so flannels. Uh, so that's really cool. Look, that's, that and would be cool. You always got to have something on the front, too, so, you know, it's got to be embellished. So a cool. flannel with uh, Phoenix Suns. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. And then the designer ones I'll show you. Here is a... Well, this one was fun. It was had the stars on it already, but I just turned it in. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. Oh, it had the stars. It had Great. the stars. Oh, not, I didn't see that. So it I already had the stars? It did have the stars, and I wanted to work with it, so then... That's really cute. So that was a mask. That CC was off a mask. This was a mask? Was bling. And and I'm going to try this one. And, I like and, that. And you know what? Actually, see, this was my daughter. He gave it to her. She should, Actually, my daughter could 
co go to some of your shows with you. She'd she'd sit there and she could do put, something. And she could put um there you go. rhinestones yeah. in the yeah. middle of each one. There you go. I love rhinestones. Yeah. They're really yeah. cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So what what is uh so where's your next show? So I have one this weekend, uh Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Vintage and Vino at the Equestrian Park in Queen Creek on Rings. Oh, so there's one this weekend, yep. Queen Creek. What's it called again? Vintage and Vino. Vintage. So I have not Vino. done this one. It's, it's so it's my first time. So. Oh, so there's wine? Yeah, it's oh, and, it's, and there's okay. several vendors in there and it's it's in the um <laughs> you know, in the horse yeah, arena question. question. Mm. So I, bet I actually it's a big one. Queen, Queen Creek that, has exploded that whole area. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we've done junk in the trunk, and that's a that's great a, trunk. I love that one. That's favorite show. That's, that, that, that's where we um, met. Yeah. And then I, I, I really do where we that. live in Encantera. I just had one two weeks ago. Was, um, and I'll do it out of my garage and do open houses. And I have, it's great. The, I'm blessed. I have a good clientele, and it's. Follow oh, me. So, so do, do you have a lot of repeat customers? All the people that come from Junk in the Trunk, Scottsdale, out to my open house. They follow me. There's oh, one that, that came to my show and uh, I met a Junk in the Trunk. They said, I came here just for you. And she's actually North Dakota native, bought a Sioux jacket at Junk in the Trunk. So I wasn't even going to take them there, but there's a lot of North Dakota Midwest people. Know. Love it. So. Love it. So what, what role do you have in this? Well, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I am always tease her because... Uh, You're the spoon pounder. Well, yeah. And, I, <laughs> and he's, a, he's a better shopper than I am. He's a professional shopper. <laughs> and I told Is her he? that uh, I'm just your pack mule. Yeah. But uh, I told her, I said, but you call me your ass. <laughs> so uh, I started calling around. myself Jack. <laughs> yeah. And so I'd go to different shows and say, hey, they'd say, hey, Jack, or whatever. But we just have fun with it. And... Uh, well, it's a lot yeah. of work to tear up and tear down because we do all the yeah. vintage displays. So he helps me set up, tear down. And yeah, I'm just their finder. And mm -hmm. what, yeah, I'm the. Uh, and Saturday, him and my son spot. are running my show, aren't you? First time. <laughs> so because I'm double booked at another one. So. Oh, they're running. So they're the running show? the show Saturday at uh, Vintage and Vino. So yeah. that should be interesting. And where are you going to be? I'm going to be over at Johnson Ranch at Solera, at a small show. And so I thought your son is now in Oregon. No, he's here. He's from or he's from Oregon. They're here now, mm -hmm. but Until um, June. yeah, possibly they might uh, be moving back because uh, just so then you'll have they, to do shows there. Yeah, uh, we'll have, we'll go wherever. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to go to Oregon. It, it, it's yeah, it's that's the thing. Just like Gwen said, you know, you can take it with you. It's not a ton of stuff, um, you know. So it's uh, pretty easy to pack up and take off. And there's vintage shows all across. I mean, so you could, you just have to get a tax ID number. That's the only bad thing about going to different states, but it's fun. It's kind of the up and coming. Everybody is doing, you know, Goodwills are almost busier than the shopping malls now. Yeah, it's awesome how sustainable it is, so. It is. Yeah. I love it, I love Keeping it. Keeping stuff out of the landfills. But you know, when you go to Goodwills, and it's just fun, interesting how many people go in there. You know, just you because of the prices, and them. you don't know what you're gonna find. And it's just, it, it, it's fun. I it's don't know unique. when they have it, but you should look into it. Um, Goodwill has a, like a big warehouse. It's their main, main one. And I don't know what day of the week it is, but like everything's like a dollar. And, and it could be like a jacket mm -hmm. and, you know, everything's like 50 yeah. cents or a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where I'm talking about? I, I don't know where that I, is, but, but I knew, I know what you're saying. I think it's, uh, you kind of have mm -hmm. to. Uh, dig. And yeah, you have to dig. dig. It, 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 but that's just like part a of it. Ton of yeah. people in there. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I ended up there because uh, uh, Goodwill has been a sponsor, and uh, that's awesome. Yeah, the CEO uh, took us on a tour, and so oh. yeah, so we ended up there, and I, I just every it was like everybody was like uh, they were fighting to grab their <laughs> stuff because they, yeah. they throw the stuff out, and then everybody just grabs. Yeah, it's really interesting because it's so inexpensive. It's like last chance. Or if yes, you get somebody's it, it, stuff, I mean, it, it, gonna be it's exactly, or... it's the last mm -hmm. chance of Goodwill. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. like stuff that they didn't sell yet and they just throw it all there and they're like, you know, we just have to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It's like today. Yeah. And for a dollar, I'm sure they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> There's a buyer the veterans today too. I, I did a lot of flag clothes because I like, I mean, I love the American flag and I use the flag a lot on my stuff. So. I love that. Do you want to sh show us a couple jackets yes. that have the American that flag, have on them? flag on them? Yes. Yes. Should we see this on you? No. <laughs> I'm not a, no, I'm not well, a I do vests too, so then I always have I'm not, no, no, Rachel looks good in a beanie. Good. I, I don't Rachel's really. not here. So. It'd be good for 4th of July. 
Yeah. And that's where they, I, yeah, day. it sat yeah. a lot on the 4th of July. Oh, that's really cool. And then, well, even my, I did my, I don't know if you saw this, but my patriotic necklace, God Bless the USA. Oh, and I didn't I, see that. I that's had, so cool. Oh, how so did you I do saw, the flag necklace? That's well, this fun. one, I, I mean, it's a charm I bought up. Okay. So that one is just right. one that I find, but I, then I add the stamp and the cross or the bling. Great. But that's been a good, good one. And I have one more little kids one I can show you with. Oh, that's so oh, cute. Like that. That's great. It's just a little That's star. super cute. And how do you know what sizes to buy? I just Is buy it? all different ones. I kind of buy a variety, but most of them, it's the real little ones, like the Louise and stuff. It's like under 24 months. Well, so it makes sense then you that you would sell your stuff then at these shows because if you don't really know what size somebody is if they're you know trying to buy something online mm -hmm. right so then you're probably gonna have returns and oh can people return anyway. yes and they, they do, do i tell them try it on because there's people like oh that'll never fit and i said you've got to try it on and they try it on oh this does fit so all sizes are different all brands are different so try it on but i usually try and do a wide variety of all sizes all different Designers. And then they, they try it on in the festivals. Yep. That's cool. So you know what? Just so you know, um, Macy's has a denim jacket that's on sale. And I know you buy your stuff sustainably. But if you're ever looking for like consistent sizes, mm -hmm. Macy's has something. I can't remember the, the brand, but it's like regularly $60. It's a denim jacket. It comes in like three or four different finish washes and things. And it's, I think it's on sale for $29. Wow. And, you know, not yeah. that much more than, than Goodwill. Right. Um, well, I have so, to, some of my clothes yeah. I'll pay 45, 50 yeah. bucks because well, they're go, free go people. On, go, or, on, go, yeah. on, go online to Macy's, and yep. I can't remember the okay. it's Style & Co. or something, but they're very inexpensive, and they're, uh, they, they fit very nicely. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know what day of the week it is either, but the regular Goodwills have, I think, like Tuesday or something, where yeah. things are like... Tuesday is senior day. Yeah. And so with it's 25% off. 25% yeah. off. Okay. But you can apply for a coupon for 20% off anything all the time if it's over 20 bucks. And Savers is 50% off on Mondays. Really? Yes. You're wealth of knowledge. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I guess. And we love to go to all the different fun yeah. shops. And well, you got to... I mean, that's you know, a full-time job in and of itself. Out your top. Well, what about Sister's Closet? Yeah, I go there. I go to um, the kids' place. Because that, that place is very sustainable, yeah. too. Uptown Cheapskate has good stuff, too. I've never clothes. heard of that one. Where's that? That one's over by Chandler Mall, across um, kind of by the Hobby Lobby, across from Chandler Mall. Oh, okay. And there's a few of those, I think. But they have, because people bring in their stuff, they have, they didn't, it doesn't Rome. fit or doesn't, and they're hot designer. I've gotten Rag and Bone. I get free people. And then I've do gone. you ever go to Sun City? Because I know they're supposed to have, like, incredible... Um, the I been there. I'm yard sales. Like, oh yeah, you know, garage yeah. sales, or yard uh, sales, Gold Canyon, call. all the different. Uh, they're, they're all just fun. I mean, I mean for your jewelry they, stuff, because oh, sure, you know, yeah. Yeah. or even like denim jackets, maybe they might have them. Well, he found me good pearls the other day that were actually the fresh water at a garage sale. So really, so that's the fun when you yeah, go yeah. and you find. <clears throat> and you do any kind of jacket, clothes. you know, even uh, music or, or yeah, sports I do whatever. or like whatever. I yeah, we're just there to please. Absolutely, whatever we can do for the customer. Customer is first. And some and people have five, six of my coats, so I have to come up with new stuff. So. And, and how do you, who does the pricing? I do, I like to get out there and just check my competition and stay in that. I don't wanna be like somebody said, well, you could be this much more, but it's like, I'd rather sell them and move yes. them than to sit on them and have them be, you Another know, I want theory. people to wear them and enjoy them. And then they'll be repeat customers right. too. Right. And then smart. I'll give some of my repeat customers deals or gift them things. I, I mean, I do that because I wouldn't have my business without them. So mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And we even had a gal that's sitting next to me and bought a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> she did. So that's glad. how we met. We're so glad she did. <laughs> yes. Well, this one's really nice. I, I, I was thinking because we're uh, Veterans Day and mm -hmm. it's uh, good old USA. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, fun. Yes. So, uh, well, I really, really had so much fun being at junk in the trunk and uh being out there the band junk in the trunk our friends that um, martin that's on the show uh yeah where's martin he should have been here he, he should have been here he actually yeah. should have been here uh he, he went out of town for sure his birthday shout out martin we love you <laughs> He's awesome. I didn't get to meet Martin. Oh, I know. oh well, wait, you guys did. He was that band that was playing that we night. Never got, I was busy. I never get to leave my booth. But could you they hear the music? I could hear the music, yes. Yeah, yeah, they were really great. They were, That's they were a fun incredible. Yeah. You got to hear exactly. him at least. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are a lot of fun. Thank you for having us on. Well, oh, I really, yeah, really um, awesome. am grateful to meet you guys. I think that you're beautiful people, and I love that you have a sustainable, loving relationship for so many years. 
it's really yeah incredible. you know i just encourage everybody um god is so real he's just real and i want you to know that he um if you've ever thought about getting to know him just encourage you you know there's a, a door that's he's just waiting for you to open and wanting to come into your life he's not going to force himself onto you he told nicodemus that to enter the kingdom of heaven you must be born again and um, i just encourage you to really look into that and and jesus he died on the cross for you he shed his blood and he's he's the king he's the king he's uh all the other ones uh you know, you might, might say Muslim or Buddha or whatever. Well, they're dead. Jesus is coming back. He's alive. And I just encourage everyone else to really look into that. And, and um, it's very, very, very important that you uh, have given your life to the Lord. Um, it's, it's, it's your soul depends upon it. Your, and you know what's so neat is that a lot of my family members have... Uh, stepped up and acknowledged that that's important so i think that's important in everybody's family life it's just it's just so important that that you cross over and make a decision on that but i just want to encourage everybody to really think and that's that. how you found, uh, found a yeah. beautiful yeah. bride yeah that's right it was something that was so sweet about that it was so attractive about that that i didn't want to let that up i didn't want to give up on that and I'm so, so th and th I'm so thank the Lord that, uh, Absolutely. that you Absolutely. met her brother. Absolutely. And then it was your brother that yep. turned you to the Yeah, her brother is one that actually introduced me to the Lord. And then I guess I passed that test because then he introduced me to his sister. <laughs> and so First things first. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. her, her, her brother didn't want them. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Until yeah. he was. What, what yeah. college was that? Rec Jamestown College, Jamestown North Dakota. Little town in North Dakota. Jamestown, North Dakota. Jamestown, North Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. Yeah. So. But I just think of how we, pat, you know, man, it's never a coincidence. There's yeah. always a. I, I know, agree. So it's, I agree. It's cool how. Because we're here saving the planet. One show, one show, show at, a time. at a time. So we <laughs> want to come see you at this uh, vintage and vino. Vintage this and vino. Weekend, yes. And, uh, but you're not going to be there. I will Friday. Friday night is three day. Okay. okay. Friday and Sunday. So Saturday, Saturday you can still go okay. check out my husband. So Saturday, see how he's doing. you're stuck with me. I guess. <laughs> and now we'll go, we'll go Friday or Sunday. Exactly. Sorry. And then Sunday is 11 to 3. But, exactly. <laughs> but there's yeah. a lot of other stuff there. Too, so, but it's fun. Yeah. Well, I love that. So, yeah. is your son into this too? Because I know he's coming. He sells he sports help. cards. He sells sports okay. cards. That's yeah. Oh, does he? You know, yeah. he tells us if we have, if something ever happens to us, they're calling. He's calling storage wars, and our junk's all gone. Because he has no, no. They're very wait, minimal. Wait, what does he say? <laughs> storage wars. They're coming, and I'm getting rid of all the junk. Because you open up our storage <laughs> shed. Yeah. 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 So does he think you guys are a little bit? Well, he's, he oh, can't yeah. believe how well we. I mean, it, it's been a very lucrative business, and he's amazed. He said, but you know, it's not. His not, thing, his, not his cup of tea. Of, no, yeah. it's not. Yeah. But he likes to. He has a little bit of it because he's a salesman of his cards. Well, he probably sees that it really is a lot of work that you do. It's awesome. You clearly love what you do, and that's why that's one of the reasons why you do it. But it's definitely it takes a lot of effort. So yes. he probably sees that, and he's like, I don't have that same level of passion <laughs> for creating all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. It goes to show how it requires that skill to do an endeavor like that. And a creative eye. Yeah. 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 And everybody not has just a, a gift. Not just wanting to do it. Everybody Being has a it. gift that does it differently. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just interesting. You you exactly. She has the skill for it. So she probably kind of enjoys it yeah. versus if he doesn't have that skill. Like, I don't have any type of arts and crafts skill in the slightest. Like, but, yes, you somebody could have a gun in my head to try to make something like that. Well, that's making music. That's making music. That's artistic. I'm talking about crafts, like yeah. trying to construct a jacket. I would not look yeah. good if I did it ever, no well, matter how hard my, I try. Sewing so, is not my favorite thing. I'll tell you that. Well, it is true when he. Uh, no, I, it, it's not true that he's not artsy. What is I'm true bad at crafts, is when he was taking so a, kind of a, 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 a pottery class, uh, and he brought something home. I'd say. Have Rachel help you. <laughs> was it a little maybe? That would yeah. be that would be me. I have, I have be. skills with music, yeah, but he's I just fine. don't have the he's arts and crafts skills. But no, no, but he's very artsy. He makes his own music. I can't oh, yeah. sing, so That's I have no music. Yeah, everybody yeah. has their own yeah. skill set, so you just have to find that and channel that. So, so deep chatty music, no, deep chatty music. 
Follow him on Instagram. He's got great Crazy. hair. Wow. He does have great hair. Yeah. He does. Yes. Yeah. Man, yeah. he does. <laughs> I'll take it. So your son does the, the baseball yeah, cards? Yeah, he what cards. Kind of cards. So he does all sports, sports. cards. Yeah. And where does he find the cards? He just, on eBay. Uh, or do you find them when no, you're he at the does. stores? No, and he'll no. do his little packs up and we'll sell them at our thing. This summer no. we sold like the cards that were, you know, like yeah. the kids love to get a whole group for like five bucks. So we, That's a whole the stuff other, that came in the bazooka. Yeah, yeah, like the ones that are his, not to him, but. So you guys sell them for him? We do. How and he's on our eBay. He does his own thing on we, that, but he yeah. uses. Cause we, we, it's very, very little of his yeah. stuff that we sell, but yeah, he's no, he's, good he's, got, he's got a great eye. He knows, he's a very good marketer. Yeah, very good salesman. But, but when you guys see, if you're at Goodwill and you see the cards, will you buy it? Because yeah, you know, find those there. It's okay. like he knows. Yeah. He's. I. I know nothing about that stuff. Yeah. So okay. That's, That's his deal. So much. Yep. It's not so much the older. It's the new ones that, that yeah. all the collectors want. They, oh, they still make cards. Yeah. Oh, oh they, they still do. There's yeah. kids that are. He's in their twenties that are making six figures. That's all they do. Oh, what? Oh, you know, he said I, these you guys know, come into the shop. Wait, it. what? Yes, Absolutely. with these big, and they have these cards, and they're. So it was funny. He had a little um case Who buys you them? Put, Oh, business fan. You know, they know yeah. how to buy and sell. Some yeah. people will pay what is twenty thousand for a card. Yeah. What? Oh, it's, oh, absolutely. There's money in cards. It's yeah. crazy. The wilder oh, thing is that gosh. people are now exactly. trading imaginary cards, NFTs, and that there's money in that somehow. So yeah. I'm sorry, the imaginary cards? NFTs? Have you haven't heard about NFTs, like with the whole crypto out. wave? Yeah. I, no, so it's for, basically for sports like, car, I, I know crypto. I understand all that. But so really there are more minutes. there but are it's NFTs it's that are kind of like sports cards. Mm -hmm. or it'll be really? Like, yes. Okay. And so it's like a virtual sports card that exists okay. only online, and people will still buy that. Okay. Well, I, well, I, I would rather have a physical sports card, so I think yeah. that that is more tangible. But Well, when I was a kid, uh, my friends and my sisters, we thought we were Charlie's Angels, and we would, we've talked about this on a couple shows, <laughs> where we could... <laughs> oh my gosh, I was fair, yeah. But the funny thing is, it's almost creepy. We would 